Meanwhile, here in the United States, some remain divided on which side they support, and now college students are getting involved. A group of Ohio State students and other community members rallied at the State House today, showing their support for Gaza and Palestine. 10 TV's Carly Dion was there and joins us now live in studio with the details. Carly? Doug, about 100 people gathered at the State House today for a rally in support of their fellow Palestinians in Gaza. And student organizers tell me today's goal is to spread awareness for a side they feel is not being heard. This is a response to the 75 years of a brutal occupation and apartheid system that was put under them. Ohio State Students for Justice in Palestine co-president Hiba Latif says the purpose of this rally is to march against the occupation of Gaza by Israeli forces and to stand with Palestinians. Latif calls the Hamas attack a resistance movement against the occupation. The Israeli forces have violated uh, international human rights laws over the course of 75 years with the Gaza Strip being um, a victim. This rally comes as the Israeli government formally declared war following the surprise attack by Hamas early Saturday morning. More than 1,000 people have died and thousands more injured between Israel and Gaza so far. Counter-protester Larry Levine showed up in support of the Jewish community. As somebody said there's a pro-Palestinian rap, uh, um, rally downtown and my first thought was for what? Levine believes it's wrong for anyone to support a cause that is leading to innocent people being killed. They should be rallying and against Hamas, who has done more against their people in Gaza than anything that they accuse the Jews of. Despite more than 6,000 miles of separation, there remains a stark difference of opinion. It's not a conflict. It's, it's inhumane. It's violating basic human rights, and it's a violation of international law as well. What they did the last two days is inhuman, uncivilized, and disgusting. Now, just yesterday, Governor Mike DeWine issued a statement condemning the Hamas bombing in Israel. He also declared yesterday and today days of prayer for the people of Israel. Carly Dion, 10TV News.